Hey, what's up? It's April from The April Show. I am surrounded eh, by men in uniform, not just for fun, but because I'm learning CPR today. Uh, Savon, she's going to be doing the vocals for this CPR lesson. So I'm not saying you shouldn't take a CPR course, right? Everyone should take a CPR course, right? Right. right. Absolutely. Okay. So, but we're going to do a little quick CPR thing here so that, you know, in case you need to know, you will know. So, all right, guys. Show us, show us what to do, Firefighter Brad. And, right. and Savon's going to do the vocals. All right. First thing you always need to do is assess your patient's level of consciousness. So pinching in the shoulders, calling in the ears. Annie, 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 can you hear me? Are you awake? If your patient Annie. does not respond, call 911. Jeff, can you go call 911 and tell them I have a unresponsive patient at Fulton Secondary School? I will. Next, what you want to do is you want to expose the patient's chest. And you want to begin compressions if they're not already breathing. You want to be doing 30 compressions. After your 30 compressions, you want to open up your patient's airway and give them two rescue breaths. And back to your 30 compressions. You're going to continue doing this until 30 minutes has elapsed. You're too physically exhausted to carry on. Your patient wakes up and thanks you, or help arrives, such as fire or ambulance. Thank you so much, Savon, who didn't want to be on camera. But she taught the course today, and it was very helpful. Thank you so much, Brad, and other man in uniform for being in my video. Thanks so much. And I want to thank Silver Star Rotary for putting this on and making